Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the LTT Stubby Screwdriver and try to answer the question, do you really need it, especially if you already own something like the full-size LTT screwdriver. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see what you get with the LTT Stubby Screwdriver and compare the size and what you get with the full-size LTT screwdriver. So inside you have the Stubby Screwdriver, which is actually much smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it would be bigger. And I have big hands, so this is actually uh, quite small for me. Now in this box here are the additional bits that you get with the LTT Stubby Screwdriver. And this little compartment here is where you can store all the extra bits. So right off the bat, it looks like you can store only six bits on the Stubby Screwdriver, whereas on the full-size LTT Screwdriver, you can store 12. So taking a look at the included bits, we see here that you have three Phillips bits, starting with a small one. It's probably useful for smaller things like screws on laptops and so on, onto the bigger one, which is good on things like full-size computers. Then we have two flat screwdriver bits, followed by a magnet at the end on the right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. And opening up this little compartment feels just as good as it did with the full-size LTT screwdriver. Although the full size feels a little bit more satisfying. And finally gonna install this screw tip here. And the selector here on the LTT stubby screwdriver feels a little bit tighter than it does on the full size LTT screwdriver. The design looks almost exactly the same. Of course, the shaft is much smaller. So I'm really surprised because I was expecting this to be a little bit bigger. This here is really small. So with my big hands, uh, it only covers like maybe half of my hand. Where maybe on Linus's hands, it covers his whole hand. But on my large hand, it only partially fits on my hand here. So we'll see how that works out when actually using it. Of course, you have the selector. You go all the way to the right. Then that's to screw in the screws. Then if you go all the way to the left, that's to unscrew. And then in the middle, just allows you to use it as like a regular screwdriver. So of course, if I didn't mention it already, this is a ratcheting stubby screwdriver. So the main focus of this small screwdriver is that it allows you to use the ratcheting function. So we're going to go ahead and test that out to see how well this works compared to the full size LTT screwdriver. And then we're going to test out different scenarios where a stubby screwdriver might be ideal versus a full size screwdriver such as this. This is going to be able to fit in other places where this can't. So yeah, other than that, it does have the same knurling that the full-size screwdriver has, although it's very short right here. You can still grip it with your fingers, but it's gonna be a little bit harder to do than it is with the full-size screwdriver. Overall, it's a nice design, just like the original LTT screwdriver. It does come at a higher cost compared to other small screwdrivers such as this, but probably one of the main reasons you're getting this is to support the LTT team and all they work to do with their great videos they put out. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the stubby screwdriver to see how it works compared to the full-size screwdriver. Okay, so here we have part of a gym that I built for my kid, and I used the original LTT screwdriver to build it, and it was really useful because these things were uh, quite hard to put in. And the good thing is that the original screwdriver had this bit already included. However, this bit does not come included with the stubby screwdriver. So I do recommend that you buy some extra bits for your stubby screwdriver if that's the only thing that you're gonna be buying and you don't already have the full size LTT screwdriver. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to loosen some of these and then tighten again with the stubby screwdriver and then go ahead and compare it to how easy or hard it is with the full size LTT screwdriver. And then I'm gonna go through some other scenarios where this small stubby screwdriver might be better than this bigger size screwdriver. Okay, so I'm gonna set the ratcheting mechanism all the way to the left here. And then that's gonna allow me to loosen these up. As you can see, they come out pretty easily. And the fact that this screwdriver is small makes it kind of nice, really gets you going in motion. And let's just do this last one here. And wow, I'm surprised how easy it was to remove these uh, with the stubby screwdriver. So let's go ahead and tighten it and see if that's harder or easier to do. So let's start with this one. Okay, went in just fine. All right, this one. Yeah, it seems like you have to do a lot of turns and really put your whole arm and shoulder into it with the smaller screwdriver. It is working though. This one. Oh yeah, you really feel it on your arm with the small stubby screwdriver. And this little bit keeps uh, getting stuck for some reason. All right, now let's try it with the full-size LTT screwdriver to see if it's any easier or harder to do. Set the ratcheting all the way to the left. He's out. And 
One thing I noticed is that the stubby screwdriver was much easier to remove these. With the larger screwdriver, full size one, it takes a little bit longer and a bit more force to take out because with the stubby one, I could just spin it really quick. Okay, looks like they're out. So now I'm gonna see the difference in screwing it in because with the stubby screwdriver, I'm, I'm already feeling it in my arm now with using this one. But let's see with the full size one. Let's see if it's easier and how much easier it is. Oh yeah, this is much easier. I could really, you can see, I could really put my hand into it. See right here, you see the twisting motion. I could really get into it and it's much easier on my arm. You see how fast I'm putting these in. Okay, last one. Okay, so it looks like we have two winners here. The stubby screwdriver is much better for removing the screws, whereas the full-size screwdriver is better for screwing them in. So that was kind of interesting. So you're probably wondering, you know, is it even worth it to get the LTT stubby screwdriver when you have a full-size one? And I can tell you right off the bat of a recent project where I was actually replacing some ceiling mounted projectors and there was a, just a little bit of clearance on top of the projector to remove a screw similar to this. It was like a security screw. A full size screwdriver wouldn't have fit like this, but this screwdriver like this, my coworker actually happened to have something like this, a small one, and I was able to remove the projector with that screwdriver. So sometimes it is helpful to have a smaller screwdriver like this for small clearances. So let's take a look at that scenario. Right now I'm gonna try to like simulate that. So if you can imagine you have the screws here and you have this long screwdriver, where you can't fit the full screwdriver in, right? And so yeah, just imagine that for some reason you can't move uh, this wooden piece right here. So there's no way for you to fit the screwdriver. So the only solution uh, so far for me has been to remove the bit and use a wrench and kind of tighten it like this and then put it in kind of like you see right here and then just, you know, work my way through it, which is gonna take forever. But now with the stubby screwdriver, I could just put in the bit and you can see right here that the stubby screwdriver will fit in smaller places where the bigger one won't. And then I can easily remove whatever screws I need to. And like I mentioned earlier, it's way easier to remove a screw with the stubby screwdriver than it is with the full size one. And now that I took it out, let's go ahead and put it back in. So yeah, there it is. Whether it's worth it for you to get the stubby screwdriver that's much smaller than the original LTT screwdriver, it really depends on whether you run into those scenarios a lot where I mentioned earlier, where you have just a little bit of clearance. And that's where a stubby screwdriver, such as the one from LTT, is super useful because you saw the alternative method of using a wrench just takes forever. So there you have the comparison between the LTT stubby screwdriver and the normal size screwdriver. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys wanna pick one of these up, I'll leave a link to the LTG store in the description below. Until the next video, see you then.